Dance Company to buy you this trip as a thank you for solving Crane's murder. Oh, Caesar's Palace. Have you uh, packed the handcuffs? We're on holiday. Exactly. to turn up for the books. Caesar's Palace, double booked. So disappointing, I'm to stay at the Heartbreak Hotel. Looks like it's aptly named. And what's worse, there's an Elvis competition on. Well, let's see if we have any better luck at the casino. To Viva! Inspector Craddock, and this is my wife, WPC Craddock. We are police officers from the UK, and we are staying here at the Heartbreak Hotel. We will take charge until the feds arrive. No one must leave the building. Now, who found the body? I did. I'm his wife, pressing him. I heard the shot backstage, and I found out this slum dressing room where I'd been waiting for his next performance. He always came early when he was performing. Did wonder why. I had my suspicions when I found two empty cocktail glasses in his dressing room. There goes my everything. <laughs> I wonder, I wonder, I wonder who else was backstage at the time. Well, well, I was backstage at the time. Elvis was never stepping out of line. Had Spanish eyes, but he'd never been to Spain. I think he was a troubled man. I was seeing a client at the time, but didn't see anyone enter his dressing room after I left. So who are you and what is your role here? Hi, I'm Bobby Brawler, steal cards at the blackjack tables. Well, I say good riddance. His singing was absolutely terrible. He only had one thing on his mind, and that was the ladies. Was a fool at the end of the road. Now maybe we might get some decent talent on stage and make America great again. Husband, give me your gun. I thought he was a good singer. He was always extra nice to me. It was like a fairy tale. He told me he was going to be top of his league and follow that dream after the competition. He was staying at the VIP suite at the Hilton, which does have a lovely queen-size waterbed, or so I've heard. And you are? I'm Danny Trumpelart, and she's my wife, Cindy. Did anyone else hear any shots? I did, sir. The name's Cliff. Cliff Luzelard. 
I thought it was part of the show. We come down by the riverside for the competition, but as Elvis's half brother, listen, man, I can tell you, he was the devil in disguise. I think he had many enemies. He borrowed money from everyone, never paid it back. He owed me 5,000 bucks. I guess the only way I'm gonna get my money back now from his estate is uh, he'll always took liberties with the only way I'll get it, his family and got away with it. At least now, I get the chance to put on my blue suede shoes and take his place in the Elvis tribute competition. Hell, I'm a much better singer than he could have ever been. Did uh, anyone else hear anything? Sure did, officer. You see, it brought back many bad memories from when I served in Vietnam with the GI Blues. You see, when I heard that revolver go off, it just gave me flashbacks to the war. Padre, you're a man of the cloth. What brings you to a seedy Las Vegas casino? Gambling? I'm here on a mission, officer to help find a lost soldier boy. You see, brothers and sisters, he had none. But the soldier's father was my father's son. When he left 20 years ago, things weren't good. As he had just shot my favorite horse in my father's house. Well, I'd heard that he'd taken up as an Elvis tribute in Las Vegas. And it's no secret that I was angry. But it's always been on my mind to patch it up. You see, as a padre, I didn't approve of the way he was a dreadful womanizer. He had all the ladies hanging on to his every word. It was always a one-sided love affair. They were always popping in to his dressing room, including the married ones. You see, I hate deceit. People like that, they always get their comeuppance. People like that, you see, and I think his singing was terrible, and he knew it. Now, who else was present backstage when the shot was heard? Constable, I feel it's only a matter of time before we find out who the murderer is. It's been reported that a long-legged girl in a short dress went into his dressing room yesterday. May we, Inspector? I did go in. I'm Dixie and I'm a special friend of Elvis's. He used to pay me to be his escort at events. I did offer extra services, just for old time's sake, to kiss me quick, but he refused. And I was most insulted and hurt by this. Plus, he never paid me. And punters who don't pay me always regret it. You could say it was the last farewell. So, he was paying for a private escort. I think he was dabbling in double trouble. Maybe his wife would have an opinion on that. That two time and hound dog? No wonder he never had any money. Poor oh boy! That's a joke. I gave him everything in life. I took him from rags to riches. I knew he was up to something when he would come home smelling of old spice. He's better off dead. At least now I can claim on the insurance money. Gee, what a philanderer. He told me he was leaving his wife. He promised me he'd be mine. Would follow the dream. Start a new life in Santa Monica. Once he'd won the Elvis competition. But I never shot him. I was backstage counting gambling chips with the manager. Uh, did anyone else hear the shot? Hey, officer, 
Officer, Johnny Hopeless, Las Vegas Globe. I heard the shot. As a junior reporter for the Las Vegas Globe, I've followed this Elvis tribute act for some time. I think he was going to be a big success. And we often shared a drink before the show. He told me he was going to write a book of his exploits and, and that it would expose the CD life and the casinos. He promised me an exclusive and that he would scratch my back if I scratched his. But it never happened. Well, I've got my front page story now. Elvis Tribute killed in Las Vegas Casino. The editors offered me a nice pay rise with a promotion for this. I always get my story, no matter what. I think this is all coming together, Constable Craddock. We have a wife who wants him dead for the insurance money. A casino girl aggrieved because uh, she discovered Elvis had been two-timing her with an escort. Escort girl who hasn't been paid for services. Mr. Trumpalot, who uh, thought his wife was having an affair with Elvis. And Cindy Trumpalot, who's very familiar with the victim's bedroom. What's this a case of a burning love affair? Plus, we now seem to have an half-brother who hasn't seen his brother for years after a family argument. It's very strange that within hours of him turning up in Las Vegas, his brother is now dead. And the Padre, huh, what's he doing in a seedy casino? This can only mean one thing, Constable. There is a killer at the Heartbreak Hotel. I think we should have suspicious minds. We need to take notes and search for any clues that we can find as to who that killer might be. I found this diary in his dressing room. Today's page is ripped out. Could it be that he knew his killer and was planning to meet them today? Hmm. Constable, pass me a new pencil. I feel we have new evidence. The Fed should be here soon. And we need to wrap this case up before they arrive. Well, I've got some information which might help. I accidentally left my gun at the casino table last night and I hadn't noticed it was missing until the morning. I was going to report it, but I thought it was best if I try and find it myself. Strange how someone loses their gun and never reports it. Well, I, I was a bit busy you know, on the casino tables, uh, plus I always keep a couple of spare guns in my hotel room. I never know when I might need one. <sighs> right, Constable. I think we need to interview all the staff and customers to see who could have taken the missing gun. Well, it could not have been me, sir. You see, I've never touched a revolver after the raid on the little cabin on the hill back in 69. You see, we'd been ordered to take village by storm. I saved my comrades by killing 26 of the enemy using my skills as a trained sniper. Hmm, now, who would have uh, access to Elvis's dressing room? Well, all the casino staff had access backstage to the dressing room, as did a few of his private guests. There was a lot going on with the Elvis competition at the hotel. Anybody could have entered the dressing room. Out of sight, out of mind, as they say. It seemed there was a lot of competition to claim the title this year, I think. His half-brother Cliff had a lot to gain if he was dead. He desperately wanted to kill, sorry, fill his big boots with the best Elvis title. And he never forgave him after the family argument years ago. Yeah, 
Let me tell you, man. Let me tell you something. I'm just a hub of love of man. And as much as I hated him, I wanted to win that competition on my own merit. Hell, I was a much better singer than he'd ever been. Hey, listen, I'll tell you, man. I think his wife did it. I think she wanted him dead. She knew. She knew he was planning on leaving her for that uh, voluptuous uh, casino girl, Bobby. She had every reason to see him dead. Hmm. Well, Constable, I think we need to establish the whereabouts of casino girl uh, Bobby Brawless at the time of the shooting. Bobby, did you and Elvis have an argument before the show tonight? Yeah, it's true. It was all a misunderstanding is all over colour of his shoes. You don't wear brown shoes with white suits. I would not be seen dead looking like that. Someone else must have entered the dressing room after I left. But I guess I'll never know who. I noticed there were two empty glasses left in his dressing room. My guess is he was expecting company before the show. There's too much monkey business going on here. I think we need to interview our escort girl again. Oh, but Inspector, I didn't kill him. I know he always requested my services, but we never did anything. He was a teddy bear to me. He got my mojo working, but it was purely a platonic relationship with him. He would just want my company and advice on his stage show. I think find that missing gun and you'll find the killer. Donnie's wife seems to know more about him than most of us. Plus, she had the chance to easily take the gun from her husband and hide it till it was needed. I think there is more to their relationship than meets the eye. It's true. We did have a lot in common. He touched me. When I met him at the Elvis convention, he was a troubled man, way down. I didn't take the gun. Donnie and I were both playing the tables when he was shot. Hmm. Well, Constable, I think we need to sum up. I feel we now have all the evidence we need to solve this murder, and it's time to give our murderer some jailhouse rock and get back to the party. Viva Las Vegas! The coroner has just removed the body. Elvis has left the building. I hope our audience have been taking notes as to who the killer could have been and why Elvis was murdered. Oh, 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 oh,